Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, we have unprecedented times right now. And I want to use today to fill you in basically two areas. One, I wanna talk a little bit about what we're doing as an organization to help you through this, number one. And number two, I wanna talk a little bit about your real estate business specifically through a time as we are all experiencing right now. All right, first, let's talk about our branches. And I've got some notes here. I don't wanna miss anything, so bear with me as I want to read directly for some of this. All right, our offices are open for business. Our cleaning crews are stepping up uh, their job to make sure that our offices are clean and tidy. Um, clients coming into the office. I would ask you to do this. First of all, if you're, you as a sales executive would prefer to work remotely and not come into the office, well, that's a beautiful thing about our industry. We can work from anywhere. Heck, when we travel, we can still do business. All right, so you can absolutely work remotely if you choose to. But if you do bring clients into the office and you choose to do that, then you know what, please use a conference room at the front and when you're done and the meeting's over, let's tidy on up, use a uh, uh, sanitizer, clean the area that you worked at, just to double, triple make sure that we're keeping the office as tidy as possible. Now, we are going to follow the CDC and the experts with this. We're gonna follow with social distancing, which they recommend six feet between people, you know what? Not going to events, now uh, even over 10 people. We're going to follow suit in what the experts are telling us to do. And most importantly, if you are feeling off at all, if you're feeling sick in any way, shape or form, you're just not you and you don't know what's wrong, stay home, stay home. Don't take any chances and isolate yourself, rest and feel better and make sure you're okay. Let's talk a little bit about open houses. You know, I've gotten many calls about, hey, uh, my clients want me to do an open house, I wanna do an open house, here's what I recommend. You can absolutely do an open house if your client wants you to do so and you're comfortable to do that open house. Couple recommendations is I would still follow suit with what the CDC is telling us. So you don't wanna have a lot of people in the house all at one time. Yes, I know, you've had amazing activity. I've had stories of up to a couple hundred people coming to an open house. Well, during these times, you'll have to put a sign on the door that says, you know what, house is packed at this moment in time. We're letting more people in once people leave. Look, challenging, Yes, frustrating, certainly, but the reality of it is we can still have that open house to support your client. Here's an idea. Have a sign-in sheet right there if they cannot wait and tell them afterwards you'll get their, their information and you'll reach out to them and answer all their questions they have on that particular house. All right, um, next. Um, all seller and buyer showings, be it that you're showing your listing or you're showing a buyer. Again, as long as you're comfortable and the client's comfortable to look for homes, it's a beautiful thing, no problem. If for whatever reason, you're just not comfortable showing houses, showing your own listing or showing a, a buyer, just get with management and no worries, we'll find a sales executive who can help out and backfill you, just like any other circumstance, all right? So just see management if you're not in a situation that you can show homes or you just don't feel like showing homes at that moment in time. I wanna spend a little bit of time in talking about just your business and how overall you should look at this situation. Big point here, each individual has their own thought processes, their own opinions, their own financial situation, okay? their own levels of how they look at this scenario that everyone's going through. We cannot assume anything. And the other trap I don't want you to fall into is I don't want you to take one experience or one headline and make that everyone's experience and everyone's world, because it's not. 
You know, I will tell you, some of the things that are going to happen is, and I'm already hearing this, is inventory, okay, will open up specifically in certain price ranges in certain areas. It will, because you'll have people now putting their property on the market, all right, that weren't thinking about doing it prior, all right, and two, you'll have other maybe buyers, maybe not looking for homes, they're holding off because they're at, at, at home, and you will have buyers that now have an opportunity to purchase, okay, because of the circumstances that are going on right now. Look, it's gonna go both ways, all right? You'll have challenges that we've gotta deal with and you'll have opportunities that you gotta deal with. What I, my advice to you is, is assume nothing. You know, I know it's hard to stay unemotional in a very emotional charge situation, but that's why you're the professional. That's what you're all about. That's what we do and that's what people depend on us to be able to do. Say, stay calm, look at the scenario, be smart and be consistent, okay? And do your best always to serve your client. Let's talk about escrows. There will be escrows that are going to be canceled for whatever reason. Someone gets laid off, whatever. They can't go forward with the transaction. Keep this in mind, okay? The virus doesn't control what happens on a canceled escrow. You know what controls it? The contract between the buyer and the seller. Don't forget that, that's not a change. That's exactly how we always do that, all right? Stay focused on accomplishing your client's goals. Listen to what they're trying to accomplish, be it seller or buyer, and then do your very best to support what they're trying to accomplish. We are going through this together. This is not a company issue. This is not an industry issue. This is a world issue, okay? And we have to stay calm and we have to communicate. And if you have questions, feel free to ask those questions. But I'm telling you, we will get through this together and we will do it day by day, step by step. I know information will continue to come out and there will be changes of what was expected and this and the other, we will continue to bring you information as we learn it ourselves. I know this much. We will be here, we will be working, be it that it's by phone or whatever the case may be is, we will communicate to you on a consistent basis. Have a great week, stay positive, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.